On the congested streets of Derby, a green corridor is emerging. Pockets of land that had previously been mistreated or ignored are now flourishing with colour and life. The Next Door Nature Programme is an initiative spearheaded locally by the Derbyshire Wildlife Trust in conjunction with Derby City Council, community groups and local residents. Next Door Nature is an initiative by the Royal Society of Wildlife Trust. It's created uh, community organisers all across the UK. As a community organiser, it's all about listening to the community and finding out what, what they would like to see. I looked at Normanton and Arboretum and I saw that you had two fantastic parks that are quite close to each other. And I thought to myself, oh, well, it would be great to connect these two parks and create spaces for wildlife and create positive spaces for the community. Imagine you're a bee and you've gone from one park and and now you're thinking, where am I going to get my next bit of nectar from? You know, that journey can be quite difficult, travelling quite far, so we thought it'd be nice to have these little pockets of area that wildlife in these city centres can, can use as they go about their journeys. The first stopping point on the Bees pathway from Arboretum Park to Normanton Park was an area known locally as Normanton Road Hanging Gardens. Sadly, this terraced walled area on the busy road had become an eyesore. This space had plants in there already, but it was really overgrown and the plants were dying and actually it was used as a bit of a dumping ground and, and people would find lots of antisocial behaviour there, lots of needles there. For the council staff, it was a real problem dealing with that space week in, week out. When I spoke to residents, it, the people said it, it made it look quite dingy and, and actually brought the reputation of Normanton Road down which is a shame because it's such a, a brilliant road of different cultures and Normanton Road should be a space that Derby is, is really proud of. So we did a design competition with Pakistan Community Centre. We asked them what they love about Normanton and Arboretum and what they think of when they think of nature. We asked them to draw their ideas and the winning pictures were the basis of the design of the mural that you, you see. I got involved in this project um, because I live locally and um, they wanted an artist to sort of brighten up the area here. So we did some work with the community to generate some ideas of what we should do. It's important that people in the community have a say in what's going to be painted, I guess. I think a lot of public art maybe is a bit prescribed to people and, and it's done where the, they don't necessarily have a say. So I think it's good that local people do get that chance. Adam from Derbyshire Wildlife Trust connected with us um, spoke about the relationships with communities, in particular ethnic minority communities, those living in the Normanton Arboretum Ward, the, the connection with the Derbyshire Wildlife Trust uh, and wildlife in general environment was, you know, there was some work that had to be done on that. So we had a number of meetings saying that, okay, how can we practically do something? We didn't want to do something that just ticked a box, you know, have a few meetings or something like that. So this was something that came out connecting with one of our school, Rosal Infant School as well, that's a partner school of the organisation, and getting children involved to actually design something that they'll be able to see, that they'll be proud of. I've decided to work a lot with the young people of Arboretum and Normanton because I think a lot of times they don't really get a say in their area and I believe that they have just as good ideas as, as we do and I really wanted them to have some ownership over their local community. Then that has a knock and effect in the area from a positive way, like parents can, something for them to be proud about as well. So that when they're walking along the high street, you can say it's their stamp, their stamp on the high street, that you know what, this is something that how we've contributed. And hopefully what we'll see is more initiatives like this where they can be involved in looking after the high street a lot more and taking ownership of it. The next area to be renovated on the Bees pathway was Society Place. At the junction of Cumming Street, there is a small grass area. This is one of the few areas of open land in the local environment. The areas have come about through our partners, Derby City Council and their neighbourhoods team. They have a lot of problems in the area with fly tipping and antisocial behaviour. And they've shown me these spots that are key areas with, with these problems. And they decided that a lot of times these spaces don't have anything on them and this allows them to be abused. So that's why we sort of thought to ourselves, 
or why don't we make these spaces better for the community and obviously better for the, the wildlife in the area and then hopefully this has a positive influence on the rest of the community. In our inner city areas there is high levels of deprivation and poverty but in those areas they're very vibrant, uh, they're very diverse areas but the levels of poverty uh, and the lack of social mobility is a big concern. We've seen from uh, the projects that have been undertaken so far how people can really engage uh, with these projects, take pride in their areas and ultimately want to do more of this sort of stuff because um, it gives them a sense of somebody else cares about our area, uh, so we should care about it as well. Adam and his colleagues approached Arboretum Primary School and the Forest School with the idea of a design competition for Society Place. The children were invited onto the site to measure up and submit entries. The winning design, which included raised planters and a bug hotel, was developed by the local community, children and council parks team into the space it is now. Involving the community is, is so important, it's the sort of the basis of community organising. We decided to work with local children because it, it, it's really nice and it's actually quite a rare thing that, that young people get ownership over their community and, and I think it's a really nice thing that a lot of these children use this walkway to, to go to school and it's nice to think that they can walk, walk through it and say, oh, I've made a contribution to this part of our area. But this project was quite exciting for us where it gave us an opportunity to connect with the environment, but more so connect to the environment via our children. So it had a dual purpose. One was about contributing towards the living conditions and the environment of our area, but number two is more so around heritage as well. And this is one of the reasons we, we connected with Derbyshire Wildlife Trust. So with this green corridor, I'm constantly looking at new spaces that we, we can add to. I think the next space that I'm really hoping we can do some work on is Church Street Park. Church Street Park is a small park in between the local Gurdwara and the Indian Community Centre. It's just a patch of grass and there isn't much there. You have lots of instances of fly tipping, littering. At Church Street Park you also have the feeding of birds. It's not really your usual types of food like seeds or things like that. People are feeding them biryani, spaghetti bolognese, which obviously is, is not very good for birds at all. So for me, it'd be really nice to incorporate those elements of connecting with nature through bird feeding, but trying to show how to do that in a, a positive way. The park should be clean because uh, obviously uh, uh, people come walk around and if it's dirty and there's birds all around and uh, if it's not clean, people don't like to go. So obviously they should stop feeding the birds as well because the main concern in our park here is the, they don't listen, they just keep and put the breads and everything for the birds. We have put the notice board as well, not to feed the birds, but still not. So we need to take some steps so they stop these things and then they should be clean so people come and visit the parks. With this regeneration happening soon and many more in the pipeline, the local residents are seeing the benefits and are hoping that the Green Corridor stretches further into their community and creates an environment of which all can be proud of. Projects like this are, are uh, important for the community because it leaves a legacy. You know, they leave something, something tangible that you can see. And often we see pa projects parachute into the area, achieve their own personal objectives and, and, and we work. Well, this one is something more than that. This is about, you know, communities seeing what they've actually put in, children seeing that, and hopefully generations to come, there'll be, it'll be a, a lasting memory for many of our children that they'll be able to tell, hopefully to their children, that we were involved in this piece of work. In a sense, it's subconscious conditioning as well of the community, so around there's a lot of work that needs to be done around behaviour change, and we see this as the, the starting point of that. When people feel other people are caring about their well-being, about their areas, um, it gives people that extra lease of life, it gives them that uh, hope that other people care so we should do our uh, part to contribute for that and collectively if organisations, the council, the community, individual residents, faith groups are all working together and pushing in the same direction, the results can be quite phenomenal really.
I really hope this can inspire others to, to take over and transform these pockets of, of green space. Uh, it's been really nice that once we've got the word out about Society Place and, and the raised planters that the people have been emailing and asking how they can do their own bits of rewilding in their local neighbourhood. So I hope yeah, that it inspires more people to take over these bits of green space and we can have more of these little spots for wildlife. You can find out more about the benefits of connecting with nature and how the Natural History Museum is helping to foster that relationship for all if you follow the video link. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this film, that you can like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.